When you talk about shows that have maintained longevity and continuously growing loyal fan base, then one can easily look towards Deadliest Catch, which has aired on the Discovery Channel since 2005. Because every time we bring something up, you never want to talk about it. I just, I wanted to run the boat for Blue Crab. Shoot me. If you don't want me to, tell me. The show has seen some impressive characters over the years, whom they have gotten pretty much used to seeing on the screens. When one of those characters, Edgar Hansen, disappeared from the screens, fans became curious. So what exactly happened to Edgar Hansen? Deadliest Catch has maintained quite an impressive reputation as a reality TV show that has stayed true to the idea behind it, serving raw footage of the cast, facing the angry seas as they strive to make catches that will be greater than the last one. However, it's not exactly the catch themselves that have kept fans around all these years. It has been the wonderful personalities who, with their unique ways adopted in getting around challenges, have managed to hold the attention of the viewers. For anyone who had been used to the show prior to 2018, Edgar Hansen has been quite a sensation on the show and is arguably the most loved cast on the show. This might be because he has been committed to a series of roles on the boat, the Northwestern since he rose to prominence in the show in 2009. He has been known to hold the position of cook, deck boss, and ship engineer, making him a face that you would often get to see on the screen. His flawless tact and understanding of his trade have been his major selling point, propelling him into growth as a television personality in no time. However, sometime in 2018, when the show was about to film its 15th season, Edgar was nowhere to be found, which quickly sparked concerns from fans. But before we really go into what might have happened to Edgar, let's quickly look at this character and probably find out what makes him so unique in the show. Edgar was born on the 14th of January, 1971, to the family of Sver and Snefrid Hansen, which was also where his attachment to the sea began. Both his father and grandfather were fishermen, and the business hasn't left the family ever since. During those fishing boat trips, Edgar had found a purpose in the waters and was able to learn the trade well. He took a step further by not just settling for fish. Instead, he chose what might be one of the most dangerous jobs to do on the planet, battling the elements in a bid to make a living. Edgar took the career further by haunting crabs like the king and snow crabs. However, he was not alone in this endeavor. He had his older brother Sig by his side. From the look of things, the family has a thing for the waters as even Edgar's other brother, Norman, still maintains the family's occupation. The only thing is that Norman hasn't really succeeded in making it to the public eye like his other two brothers. During the fishing trips that the trio had with their father when they were younger, Sig has always been tasked with the duty of looking out for his younger brothers, a duty that he has carried on with him even to this point. Such proximity has fostered a really strong bond between the brothers, leading to both making it to the small screen when Deadliest Catch premiered. Career Growth On joining Deadliest Catch, Edgar didn't immediately shoot to fame. First. He took over the position of the cook from his brother Sig. This was the beginning of a promising career on the show, and just a few years later, Edgar grew to become a sort of an all-rounder on the show, attracting accolades and followership from viewers. To understand why many fans have kept up with the show, one will have to understand the idea the deadliest catch was built on. It is an insight into the travails that humans go through in the quest for survival and the quest to make ends meet. Deadliest Catch has its scenes in the very heart of the Bering Seas, where fishing boats filled with daring individuals engage in a constant battle against the elements as they strive to make a catch that will guarantee their next payout once they return to land. The sea has often become a graveyard for ships and a testing ground for the toughest breed of men. Here the weather is your enemy. The clock is always ticking and every haul could be your last. Seeing the daring fishermen celebrate their great catch and also count their losses on some occasions has become the narrative that has kept fans glued to the show all these years. This is the lifeblood of the Deadliest Catch. Since 2005, Deadliest Catch has been taking viewers on an unforgettable journey alongside these modern-day Vikings. We witness firsthand the back-breaking work, the fierce competition, and the ever-present danger as these crews battle the unforgiving sea for a chance at a fortune in crab. 
People have haunted crabs over many years, and the task is not as simple as it might seem to people who may have never crossed paths with the show. Even seeing it on the screen might underplay the planning, strategies, and hard work that goes into these expeditions, not to mention the separation from family for many months over the fishing period. So far, it was Edgar's ability to navigate this cruel terrain that quickly made him a fan favorite once he made it to the front stage sometime in 2009. His lovable personality made him seem indispensable in the show for some time. Even Sig had confessed at some point that Edgar had become a very important part of the crew. But sadly, that wasn't going to hold for long, as faced an unfortunate incident that made him a liability to the show. The show covers some other crew, but Northwestern has become a major focus. Maybe because they might just have some of the most interesting personalities on board and have been confirmed to be also top of their trade. Deadliest Catch boasts a legendary cast of captains, each with their own unique leadership style and risk tolerance. There's Sig Hansen, the Norwegian Nightmare, a gruff but respected veteran known for pushing his limits and his crew on the Northwestern. Sig is all about maximizing the catch, even if it means sleepless nights and frayed tempers. Having such a character in charge might just be the reason the crew aboard the Northwestern has been performing really well. However, he wouldn't be able to carry on the duty alone if he didn't have the skill to get his team together. As much as the show helps us understand what these people go through in the quest to make a living, it also gives insight into the dangers and unfortunate incidents that are likely to occur during these missions. Accidents that have become fatal have been recorded on the show being a testament to how unforgiving the elements can be. Aside from Sig and his crew, others like the ever-optimistic Josh Harris of the Cornelia Marie have featured on the show. Sadly, tragedy struck in 2009 when the Cornelia Marie sank during a fierce storm, taking Josh and his crew with it. Their loss is a constant reminder of the show's heartbreaking reality. Although Edgar had spent only four years on the show, it was only the skills that he had learned from his father and elder brother that helped him survive on the boat. Many are also very much impressed with the longevity of Sig Hansen on the show. He also has his daughter Mandy with him on the Northwestern and still remains the captain to this day. Hopefully, Sig's career haunting crabs doesn't take a toll on him, as it has some of his comrades. And then it there are other crew members who have also managed to make Deadliest Catch a show worth following. There are the likes of the Hillstrand brothers, Jonathan and Scott, known for their playful banter and competitive spirit aboard the Time Bandit. Keith Colburn, the Mavericks captain, brings a strategic mind and a calm demeanor to the chaos. Among everyone on the show, it has been Edgar Hansen, Sig's brother, who has gotten quite a recognition on the show. His versatility has helped shoot him into fame, with fans always anticipating to see what he would be up to in every waking episode. He also co-captains the Northwestern while maintaining a quieter but equally determined presence. Let's not sugarcoat it. The Bering Sea is a monster. Freezing temperatures, hurricane force winds, and rogue waves threaten to capsize these vessels at any moment. These fishermen face a constant battle against the elements. One wrong move, one miscalculation, and it's game over. The show doesn't shy away from portraying the physical toll this takes on the crews. Injuries are frequent. Exhaustion is a constant companion, and sleep is a luxury. As you would imagine, all these stress pills up and become a major influence on the crew, even when they're not on the boat. Some have been reported to be addicted to something and exhibiting certain aggressive behaviors. In 2023, Sig himself was charged with assault having attacked an Uber driver after having one too many drinks. That aside, Deadliest Catch isn't just about the danger and struggles. There's a deep sense of camaraderie aboard these vessels. These men rely on each other for survival, forming an unbreakable bond forged in the crucible of the Bering Sea. There's also an undeniable thrill to the job. When the pots come up heavy with crab, the satisfaction is unmatched. The price of fame. However, Deadliest Catch hasn't been without its controversies. The pressure of filming and the constant pressure to deliver ratings have led to some cast departures. We've seen Jake Anderson, the stoic captain of the wizard, step away. The legendary Monty Hall, known for his quick wit and innovative fishing techniques, also left the show. Phil Harris, 
another respected captain, decided to walk away from the spotlight as well. Despite the challenges, the deadliest catch endures. New captains and crews emerge, carrying on the dangerous tasks. Edgar's fall off. Over the years that Edgar has been on the show, he became quite an influence, playing multiple roles aboard the boat as fisherman, engineer, cook, and deck boss. Having this much on his shoulder meant that he was always in the face of fans of the show, which made them develop certain likeness for him, not minding that there have been many other crew members that have come and gone from the show, owing to the dangerous nature of the job and the toll that it takes on the people involved. Edgar's sudden disappearance from the scene in 2018 was noticed. The producers of the show didn't offer any explanations as to why one of the most popular faces on the show was nowhere to be found. This sent signals that something must have gone wrong somewhere and concerned fans decided to dig and discover what is being hidden. It didn't take long for the news to come to light. Turns out Edgar had pled guilty to a charge of sexual harassment on a teen that year. Despite the events he was charged with taking place the previous year, the consequences managed to catch up with him later on. And for anyone aware of how seriously such cases are taken in the United States, it was obvious that Edgar was in for a long ride. Just like that, a once promising career was about to take a nosedive, which could result in Edgar being put away for a while. Later on, it was gathered that Edgar was given 364 days of suspended jail term in order to pay $1,653 in court fines and fees. In addition, he has been ordered to register as a sex offender and also undertake a sexual deviancy evaluation and treatment. As you would expect, details about the events that led up to this unfortunate turnout for the deadliest catch cast aren't totally available to the public, considering the nature of the case. But according to available information, the victim is a 16-year-old who had revealed what happened to her therapist, which led up to the escalation. Many fans of the show were unable to associate the character on the show, whom they've all come to love and appreciate his efforts and dedication, with such a case that has been leveled against him. Normally, this would have been a case that could have stirred up debates, assuming Edgar didn't confess to the crime himself. Looks like not all can be seen from the screen after all. The fact that he was an important part of the show can't be denied. But it was obvious that the producers of the show wouldn't want the heat that might come with them retaining him on the show. However, in a statement released by Edgar, he said, I am very sorry for that conduct and I have commenced treatment to ensure that nothing like this assault ever happens again. Hopefully the man has been able to get the help he needs. But in an amazing turn of events, some fans had cited the man in subsequent episodes of Deadliest Catch, though it's clear that he has been restricted to work from behind the scenes as there might never be a chance where they will let him take the front row as he used to. Also, this won't be the first time that a cast in the show has been accused of sexual assault. Sig Hansen, Edgar's elder brother, had a similar charge brought against him in 2016 by his ex-wife Lisa and his daughter, Melissa Ekstrom. Melissa had accused her father of molesting her when she was only two. She claimed to have memories from the encounter that still haunts her, and so she has moved to bring the matter to light. But the case hasn't been really able to proceed, owing to the fact that there is not enough evidence to carry on with the case. On his part, Sig has described the case filed against him as nothing but a shakedown from his ex-wife and daughter and has denied every charge that has been brought against him. Edgar's love life and family. Despite the popularity that Edgar had gathered from Deadliest Catch, he has somehow managed to keep many details about his personal life off the internet. Not much is known about his family, but here is the little that we've been able to gather. Edgar is married to Louise Hansen, and they have three children together. Outside this, not much is really known about the couple and what goes on with their lives and things have even become more difficult to find out since Edgar has been away from the public eye since his assault case. No one is sure how Edgar pleading guilty to the sexual assault case has affected their marriage. As for Deadliest Catch, it seems the industry itself is evolving. We are witnessing newer and more technologically advanced vessels enter the fray, which could be a bit reassuring for the safety concerns. 
as it could offer some protection against the elements. But the core of Deadliest Catch remains the same, a focus on a story that captures the courage and resilience of these fishermen who risk it all for every single fleeting season. The story isn't entirely of struggles as there are some elements of new bonds that are created in the process. A step was taken to fill the gap that months of absence from family and loved ones at home might have created. For instance, outside the crew of these fishing boats, a little pip behind the scenes also reveals the camera crew, who basically live with the fishermen on the boat. Over time, they've become like family and have been drawn into the struggles and life-threatening situations that these fishermen face themselves. One thing that has been the major attraction to Deadliest Catch has to be the raw show of these ordeals that the crew faces. At least it is believed that the show hasn't been infiltrated by scripted scenes that tamper with the idea behind reality shows. So viewers get to witness firsthand the challenges, struggles, and celebrations of any big catch and unfortunate events that happen on the show. Outside the sinking of the Cornelia Marie, other crew members in the show have been caught in various tragedies, both in and off the show. Deckhands like Nick McGlashan and Malin Reyes lost their lives in the unforgiving sea. Also, Nick McGlashan, a charismatic deckhand known for his work ethic and humor, succumbed to addiction. Malin Reyes, a young deckhand with a promising future, suffered a fatal injury on board the Summer Bay. Their stories serve as a stark reminder of the high stakes involved in this profession. Looking ahead, the future of the deadliest catch remains uncertain. Will quotas and regulations continue to impact the crab fishing industry? And can these captains adapt to a changing landscape? Already, there are talks of climate change affecting the activities of the fishing crew, driving the crabs into regions that seem a lot more dangerous for the fishermen and their boats to navigate. One thing is for sure, the allure of the crab, the thrill of the hunt, and the unwavering spirit of these fishermen will likely keep Deadliest Catch captivating audiences for years to come. So what are your thoughts? Do you think there's a chance that we might be seeing Edgar at the forefront again in the future? Or would this be how his career ends with the show? We will be in the comments and do well to join us in the coming episodes as we have more thrilling stories to keep you captivated. See you on the next one.